in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda. Do you have the courage? I'm, I'm going to drop some on you. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are God, then neutralize everything he put in you. Just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you neutralize your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. For some of you, it took courage to come to this conference. It takes courage to get you outside of the bar. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're going to talk about you. Do you have? to stand there though the storms keep raging and the people get to talking and you stand there and say I've come too far to turn around do you have the courage I'm gonna I'm gonna say something to you it takes courage to be exceptional it takes courage to be wise. It takes courage to be rich. It takes courage to be educated. It takes courage to be knowledgeable. Because the moment you do, but you, you don't talk like, you, oh, you don't got to put out where you came from. Look at you, you talk to you. It takes courage. And I'm just wondering, in this weak, watered down, mediocre society that we live in today, in this reality TV world we live in today, I'm wondering if there's anybody left that's got the courage to say after all I've been through and all my ancestors have been through and all my parents have been through I didn't come through all of that just to fit in with normalcy I have the courage to go after my dream is there a woman left in this entire coliseum 